So here we go with another top 10 list. These are my favorite top 10 movies of 1990. First, I got to give an honorable mention to Kindergarten Cop. It's not a tumor. And The Hunt for Red October. So here's the list. And number 10, Misery. Kathy Bates is the goat. And if you disagree with that, you're a bad person. Number nine, Tremors. It's Kevin Bacon fighting bit ass sand lizards. It's, it's dope. And they mouth look like a booty hole that can grab you. Number eight, My Blue Heaven. Rick Moranis, goaded. Steve Martin, a along with being the reason I got into acting, I even had a good arugula in a minute. Truly a slept on movie. Number seven, Edward Scissorhands. Movie's dark, it's good, it's just, it's like, it's interesting. It's just a great movie. And the motherfucker has scissor hands. Number six, Dick Tracy. Oh, God. The costumes, the colors, fucking Warren Beatty, fucking Pacino, fucking Mumbles. If they do a remake of Dick Tracy and I'm not in it, fuck everybody. When do we eat? Number five, House Party. Come on, y'all. Let's kick his fucking ass. Kid and Play, Tisha Campbell, Martin. Number four, Total Recall. To this day, one of the most freaky scenes I've ever seen was when them eyes were coming out at the end, when the eyes was coming out. That shit was crazy. Also, one of the most maniacal, just insane bad guys of all time. And who can forget that extra titty? Number three, Home Alone. Still one of my favorite Christmas movies. And proof that Joe Pesci is that dude. Number two, we back to Pesci. Goodfellas. As long as I can remember, I wanted to be a gangster. And number one, of course. T-U-R-T-L-E, power. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, in, in my opinion, so underrated. The grittiness, the, 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 the animatronics, the voice acting, and the way Shredder came in at the end was one of the most gangster villain reveals to the heroes I've ever seen, seen. Go Ninja, go Ninja, go!